So why would why on a Monday and three, is this how he talk? Those were the two animes I saw. <laughs> Describe so each so Wawa, anime. So Wawa on Monday is about. You know what's put, pull out. Ew, his voice is just. Ex uh, you should have known. <laughs> you should have known. Like, I don't want to. I, I don't really don't want to make fun of his speech impediment, but dog, it. <laughs> it ain't looking too good, bro. Uh, variety Princess. Okay. Hi everyone, it's Deja, the Princess of Variety, and I am here with Uncle Struggle. And we are doing some reactions today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared because he chose the videos. So listen, these videos bro, are crazy. Do not blame me. I told her, <laughs> she wanted a crazy video. I said, all right, this guy normally has crazy content. This is what she wanted. Don't I'm not trying to get canceled. I'm just gonna sit here, be a You're princess, and it. react to what I see. Canceled today. <laughs> we both get canceled today, bro. Um, very big parental advisory with this with this type of yeah. Content. All this types of trigger warnings, crazy. everybody. Trigger warnings. Yeah, I don't know what them. I don't know what the triggers are, but I'm based yeah, on yeah. him and what I know about him and what he reacts to. Probably gonna be some triggering things. In whatever we're watching i don't know what we're watching i don't know what it's about i literally am going into this blind so like i said guys i didn't choose these videos he chose the videos i gave her i gave her every opportunity to choose videos and she came back at the end of the i don't video. know what to find i don't really react to stuff i haven't reacted to anything in a while so like i told you guys to send me stuff too kingdom i told you guys to send me stuff and y'all barely sent me anything so this y'all fault <laughs> not blaming everybody ready, but me <laughs> yes go oh. ahead we're about to get the back back story now oh nah bro this is crazy all right man. this is this is another youtuber you know what is this intro kiwi These motherfuckers be on TikTok being annoying, bro. Being weird. Some of you may have seen me on live stream with this guy before. You may think you know the story behind what he has done, but like an know. onion, the more layers we peel back, the stinkier it gets. No one knew what he had done to his underage co-worker. No one knew he was the owner of a what Discord you mean? server full of minors at the age of 30. Oh my god, bro, it's just into it like that? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's not even a minute in. Golly. I have tears coming out of my eyes. Oh no, okay. He, he that type of guy. Oh my he, god. Oh no. No one he knew 32? the truth. Until recently, we thought the white Bowser was just a terrible guy. Who had <laughs> the white Bowser is things. crazy. We thought this was all <laughs> hey, about what's cartoons, that boy's name? Hold up. And that could not what's have name, been. Man? The white from the truth. Bowser? Earl Doobie, otherwise known as the That's White Earl Bowser, Doobie. was hidden among us for quite some time. He was a fan of fellow YouTuber Smokey MCCs and a member of his old Discord server, The Smoke Shack. There, you could find the White Bowser at any hour of the day, almost. Oh, he every was a day. Discord warrior. So Either he was posting in the about how much time. his life sucked or trashing oh on anyone else's opinions that he himself did not hold. Sure, people would disagree with him and debate him. He kind of looked like it me. It wasn't anything more than that. Be honest. Until the white Bowser said some things. Hey, that if you and Big Mike had a baby. <laughs> One day in a voice chat, a very common Yo. thing for Bowser. And jokingly, Yo. someone asked him the most important question Bro, what is he about this whole that? ordeal. Earl, what kind of not safe for work content are you into? He said lolly. He would immediately list two anime that he watched in that regard. Freezing, a show about genetically modified teens, Teenage and Tawawa on a Monday, a show about a girl in high school being groomed by a salesperson in their oh. 20. Y'all should have kicked him out immediately as soon as he said that shit. <laughs> yeah. As he said that second one, bro, it had to, you have to go. You <laughs> have to go, bro. Nah, what the fuck is that plot? 
the white Bowser would be immediately grilled by the fellow members of the voice what, grill band. How these characters were underage and that watching them in that context is very creepy. This would lead to the first utterance of the now infamous line, they're just cartoons. The white Bowser believes that because these characters are fictional, it doesn't matter what age they are. Another that's common excuse ass. that Bowser uses is that he and his friends... I, I feel like that's still a harmful take to have, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, you ain't out here actually abusing kids, but that's still such a fucking weird thing to do, bro. I don't care if, it, if it's cartoon kids. It's still fucking weird to watch them get sexually harassed. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's not nothing I can fucking back. Would watch these shows together it's when he was in terrible. college. Both of these excuses did very little to stem the incoming tide of questions from the fellow members of the voice. You gotta chat, kick that That would have been an instant ban. After. That was when the people who had spoke to him began the long and still ongoing process of digging up anything and everything in Bowser's past. But before they had begun to even scratch the surface, Earl made another statement equally as repulsive what? as the first. What? He's self-reporting? A of the Discord was a vet, and he was talking about some of the struggles he Why faced. Why is he self-reporting, bro? Because he served overseas, and he had seen some things. Earl, a 30-year-old man who has never served, in fact, he makes pony music videos, told the huh? vet that if his life was so bad, he should just end it. Naturally, this infuriated everyone who heard about it, everyone who saw it, and I gotta say, the manpower behind looking into Earl had to have tripled after that. Bowser would be banned from the Discord the after the mods found out about this, not before he told multiple oh, he other people okay, to man. do the same thing to themselves. And after this, Bowser would take to Twitter, adding Smokey, saying that his community had kicked him out with no reason at all. Oh, is it Smokey's Discord? What the fuck? Okay. Multiple people trying to explain it to him, but also revealing the town that he lived in. People swiftly found almost all of. Do his you know person. who Smokey oh, is? As he had made it, Smokey was a, Smokey is a, like they do the same type of content. Him and Kiwi do the same type of stories like this, and they uh they work together. Easy mm. to find. And his Kiwi is the guy talking. His YouTube description, yeah. for Christ's sakes. This would lead the investigators to a Reddit post made by the White Bowser. It was called "The Day My Life." I can't Came get over the White end. Bowser. <laughs> this post would go on to describe. Oh, you don't like his name, bro. Movie theater. He had groped a coworker in what he calls an accident. He claims you that how the fuck do you grope somebody on? Do you ever grope somebody on accident, VP? No. It's like accidental reaching to their pants and pull their meat out or nothing. Like it never happened. <laughs> I keep happen my hands to myself. <laughs> it's intensely gross. It is outrageous, bro. Put their hands in a circle, threw them up in the air, and when his hand came down, it happened to land on his coworker's chest. We would not know that she was what? 17 until much later. Let me read you guys a little bit of this post. She turned around no faster way, bro. than lightning and said, You better hustle. And yes, I'm not even sure that is what she said. I don't remember. Also, when she turned around at breakneck speed, my hand moved from grabbing the back of her shoulder to the front of her chest. And yes, this all happened within the span of five seconds. When she stormed off, I was, was grabbing her titty for five seconds. All my coworkers behind me, and they were what all the looking fuck? at me. That's a long I time. Was, that was a long time. I should not have done that. The rest of the night went off very awkwardly. I started cleaning my station and couldn't find the girl I touched anywhere. A few minutes later, my boss told me to go home. Find the girl I so I drove home, friend. saying in my head, "What just happened? What did I just do?" I was told I can no longer linger at the movie theater, even if it's to say hi to old friends. I was also Man, that boy told got that fired. because of the accident that had happened with that girl, nah. I now gave her PTA. I ain't gonna lie, I don't believe, I don't believe him, bro. I, I believe he intentionally was sitting there trying to grope that girl, bro. Well, yeah. Even like if y'all like doing like some hip hip hooray, your hand come down. Like, and even if you do happen to scrape somebody, like touch their breast, you're not there for five seconds. I yeah, promise you. Like, <laughs> like, bro, you're not up, 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 hitty. Oh my god, <laughs> what the fuck? he's lying. But he's lying, bro. PTSD. I've never heard if of this. This is the case. You will no longer see me come to the movie theater as a customer.
This will be my final message to all my friends I made. If forgiveness and reconciliation cannot be fabricated between the that's situation, that's probably the only titty he touched in his life too. To a different movie theater. I can go to a place part. where I know I that ruined is, someone's bro. life and mental well-being. Please do not I don't think he, to this message. You think he, you think he risen girls? You think this man right here risen him? You you would get risen by? No, ew. That's not so tight. No. Hey, that man, that young man, fine. <laughs> you not fine? No, he's fucking <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I'm talking about a young man like he's not 30. That's crazy. Just bro. take it knowing that I need to move on if I'm he going probably to older now, myself actually. and become a better person. Thank you and goodbye. When this was found, things began to change Yeah, VP, that's your type, man. Not only was no, it's Bowser not. Began to acquire some of his <laughs> very first trolls, but myself and Smokey <laughs> were informed of the situation. And Why you got so many cat, but cat Someone pages had in back there, the man? Why are you keeping in there? Smokey was in a content farming ring with Cyrax and Music Biz Marty. Oh, no, not Cyrax. Accusing Smokey of paying Cyrax to fake his rages, saying that Smokey was a predator just like Rax. Bowser had zero evidence for all this. Dang, just so he just claiming troll. people's a pet? And after making a video That's calling crazy. Smokey all of these things with absolutely no evidence, he got my full attention. And when I ran across him streaming Genshin Impact one day, I decided to Of course he played Genshin, bro. And when he found <laughs> out about he this, some his fucking Genshin, bro. asking him. Like, Genshin players, I, they, they it's like 50-50 with them. Even, like, it, it, it reminds me of the, the Smash community, man. It's so many weirdos, bro. Like, I, I couldn't do it, man. He's definitely one of them. Hop on panel with me. He probably played all the little girls too, little agreed, freak ass dude. But only because he expected me to pay him at the end. But during this stream, Bowser would be thrown a curveball. We would bring on the troll who had told him Smokey was in this content farming ring in the first place, who would almost immediately tell Earl that it was all a lie. So why would one on a Monday and three, Is this how he talks? Those were the two animes I saw. <laughs> Ew! Those were the only two animes I saw. Describe so why, each of so these animes. So why would one on Monday is about... You know what's... Hold on. Ew! His voice is just... Ex uh, you should have known! <laughs> You should have known. Like, I don't want to. I, I, I don't really don't want to make fun of his speech impediment, but dog, it <laughs> it ain't looking too good, bro. Bro, the way he said that should have just been like, oh, y'all should have known he was on some weird shit. Who would almost immediately tell Earl Look, that it was all a lie? So why would why on a Monday? And Jesus, those were the two enemies I talked about. Yo, hey, fucking yo. Each of these Wawa, to Wawa on Monday is about. Wawa. Hold on. Can you look up it? Can you look up if they actually say how oh, old I Chan is? Because, I don't okay, want that on my search history, bro. Well, well, that's the thing. They never say how old she is in the anime. They just say she has big tits. What does that have to do with? What does that have to do with anything, bro? What does that have to do with what we're talking about right now? Oh, yeah. the day, you're gonna, you're gonna go out. And, if you're gonna oh. throw out that a random drawing of someone, I couldn't imagine being thirty sounding like this, bro. <laughs> oh well, man, that's such a. Hey man, God bless me, bro. God, thank you for not making me sound like this, boy. Who could be any oh, age? My God, has the biggest tits ever, and how can you call that as something that's part of reality? I just wanted you to describe this anime to me, and you're going on about oh, big tits. Oh, all right, fine, I'll concentrate. So, Wawa wow, wow, on Monday wow, wow, wow. Is, about, is about a girl. Is about, I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'm not I'm trying not, to cyber so bully. Her, 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 because oh once again, they don't tell us what her, what, what, so, uh, what, how is, what anime is he even saying? Like, I low key want to look it up because watch it be a fucking 14. -year -old. And what are you about to I type in? I'm about to put to Wawa wow, wow, on a Monday, bro, because, like, <laughs> On a Monday, <laughs> and hopefully, uh, bro, hold on, bro. I gotta be able to find it, bro. I'm about to just put anime <laughs> on a Monday. Oh, I see, I see it. To why, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. I found it. I <laughs> found it, bro. It, I bro. found this, <laughs> but I found it, bro. I'm trying yeah. to see her. Age. Yeah, okay. What's like the main character? Oh, uh, shit. main, I'm gonna find this joint, bro. Watch, watch this girl be like 14, bro. 
Her name is A Chan, A A I Chan, or whatever the is shit. I like anime, but I ain't this invested, bro. God, Lee, hold on. Hold the fuck. Up. Wouldn't it let me pace? Damn. Age. Uh, you want you want to guess what her age is? I'm sure she's 18? under eighteen, <laughs> based That's on what is what he 16. seems to like. Well, yeah. This is a six fucking team. Or maybe I'm looking at the yeah, this shit say 16. He a, he's a dirt bag boy. Ages. But uh to why why Monday is about a woman who just a girl whose boobs won't stop growing. Why and are you watching has, about um, a 16 year old girl? A little sister. She had then there's a wife, a wife who who's who has an H cup and all this other Why the fuck what do you know they titty sizes, bro? It's just a bunch of uh Tom Foolery, really. Tom yeah. oh, Foolery, like, bro. It's just titty growth on his chicken throat. Smokey. What? Yeah, man. Smokey. It, it, then we bring in the troll with Smokey's evidence on Smokey. farming content. God. Come on. I wonder who I mean, the I troll is. I screenshot, but I mean, what else can you tell It's probably Cyrick. All I'm saying, man, is I don't know how White Bowser could believe any of that. <laughs> so somebody just gave me fake there. info. And he was like, "Yeah, this makes sense." So you, so you were a double agent the whole time. Oh and my right god, after, that voice! Bowser would do something that would take every he single cosplaying. person by surprise. He wanted a platform he where he could share he his excuses just like you with now, a wide like... audience. And after I restream, when do I ever cosplay? Did he just, side. bro? Did he just take and off the shades I into glasses, him, bro? I think he believed I was on I, his side I hate, I hate because it. a day later I got an offer. To start a weekly podcast called 110 Autism, a name that he chose. What? And to run it every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. All this after what he had said about a friend Why is of autism mine, in the name? needless to say, I accepted. Maybe he Before has we autism. go forward, I want to take it back a little bit. Maybe? Maybe that is nah. He definitely got it, bro. He got the bad kind or whatever. Share some info from <laughs> Bowser's know. past that helps us. <laughs> Don't make me laugh at that. Back in twenty seventeen, got the bad one, bro. Bowser was deep in the Brony community, and he would he make brony, pony so? music videos or PMVs Man, my, for short. And at BronyCon twenty seventeen, the you trying to go to BronyCon VP attended. Bowser would go on. Mm, I don't even know what that is. In their PMV it's, for, it's, for, it's for the bronies, like the, the grown man who like my little pony. It's for them. No, I'm good. I'll stay home. We can go and make some content, bro. We can go dress up. My little ponies, man. They had to kick my ass out, bro. I just can tell, man. They First, I'm black. They like, I'm nobody black. Watch this shit. They already know I'm here for trouble. Then I'm going to show up in the my most outrageous pony costume. It's going to have a BBC on it. Or HBC? What's that? H Big Black Horse Penis. Yeah, that's what I'm going to show up with. <laughs> Press play, oh. bruh. <laughs> and when it was revealed that the winner of the competition had attempted Yo. to take their own life weeks after winning, oh my God. Earl would take to r slash PMV and call the winner of the competition not only selfish, but also threatening them in the process. Wait, he what? would be swiftly kicked out of the PMV subreddit, becoming a pariah of the community. Oh, yeah, he got... Yeah. Another example of Earl being ran off would be the subreddit he r slash big boobs, where Earl would not only stalk women, but he oh, would also harass on, them for man. not posting NSFW content and actually having real Why problems just go to they wish to discuss. Now, you may be asking yourself, Kiwi Tapes, why are you telling me all this? It's because Bowser has a long history of mistreating communities and then running off once he's I called out for his I wonder if he's ever going to come to my community, behavior, man. Almost always <laughs> seeking some form of revenge to see against try. them. Which leads us to the first episode of the White Bowser and Kiwi Tapes' podcast. Bro, he actually said yes and went began, on there we brought crazy. on Smokey. And after Smokey dismantled every point that Bowser made in all his videos, I began I'm to bring people perplexed who had right previous now. interactions with wow. Bowser onto the page. <laughs> because I'm just all like, telling I don't know what to say. Paid to be there. You, you, you ain't know this is a whole world of nonsense that went down on YouTube, did you? <laughs> I mean, I'm this not surprised, so but <laughs> I be shook. I be shook every time I cover one of these dudes, bro. I don't be understanding how these they just are allowed to live in this world, bro. 
I don't be getting it. And he had to set through it all because we weren't scammers. Being that he thought he was what getting did he, paid, he, he had no choice but to sit there and endure all of their criticisms. And when a guest oh, named Cowrang began bro. telling Bowser some very hard truths, <laughs> he had a he very crazy, physical man. reaction. Well, that's deplorable behavior, you, Mr. Bowser. You're like Cyrax. I am, and Mr. Well, they, uh, both Chandler, you can tell tragic. this man in particular preys on women because he's a no-good degenerate. The yeah. fact that he likes to praise that he's a Catholic, this is a girl he's a talking? good, righteous man, is bullshit. Exactly, yeah. He is nothing about to more break his glasses. than someone who uses the name just to feel big and good about himself. He likes to go into those subreddits and preach and pray and try to look holy. Bowser, Do you God doesn't the, uh... like you. Oh my God! Have God don't shit. like you, it's crazy! Oh man. <laughs> he never heard that before. <laughs> he never heard that before. Not as a good man, but as someone who scares women, who scares people, who goes he definitely around scared and spreads his degeneracy without anyone wanting it. 100% scared of hoes. And I'm just going to emphasize it again. Chihuahua does say that I is 15. It emphasizes that she's in high school. He's he 15? Oh! Ew! I mean, so, I, looked at, I looked at the wiki. I mean, it, it does say that. Is that true, Bowser? Is Chihuahua 15? Oh, I sent... I do you hear them? Do you hear this thing whispering, bro? You hear him whispering? I do. That's why I'm just sitting here, like, waiting for him to blow up or something. Bro, he is losing it, bro. <laughs> he is losing it so bad right now, bro. To the wiki, Kiwi. So I figured that would help you out a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. I sent it to Covering everyone. Covering his ears and shit. Because I wanted to make sure that everyone was well aware of who they were talking to. And that girl, besides from her obnoxious breast, looks like a child. She looks like a 15-year-old. Her a friends look either. like children. So the fact that you sexualize her and you make comments about dreaming about turning into her is so huh? interesting. Are you <laughs> fucking done? Please fucking stop. I mean, she's just well, like... Dream about turning into a 16-year-old girl, bro. What the... Yo, the range, bro. What the... <laughs> Do you see the type of people I'd be re reacting to now, man? <laughs> the this does to me, <laughs> bro. These people are awful, <laughs> bro. The bad yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I think, but, oh, fellas, I don't mean to exacerbate yeah, the wound here. Fucking attack away, you fucking stop. Well, well uh, defend yourself. Yeah, no, guys, 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 guys. Fucking hell. Bowser, okay. Bowser, Bowser. Fucking hell. This is on his podcast dude, too. We got remember, like I said, dude, this is a podcast. We're just chilling. Just take some breaths. We just chilling we'll after this commercial crazy. break. God doesn't like we you. Commercial break. We're just chilling. <laughs> just chilling. This we, can, we can take a minute. We can take a take minute. A quick commercial break. There's nothing the matter. Everything's fine. It's just a cow wrangler. Remember what we said about the goon? The goon's a goon. The cow wrangler's a cow wrangler. Mm -hmm. Bro, he is off bro. We'll read some comments. He's off hey, bro. 15. Jesus, Jay, thank you so much, man. Me and Bowser are going to be eating great. Bowser, you need to take this as a wake-up call and taste things that come what if you continue hell? doing what, what you're doing. Recognize fuck all fuck your you faults. It's not with the end of the world. <laughs> I hate his voice, uh, bro. I comments, hate it. Dude. We can't shit on the dump. These people are our bosses, Bowser. Deep and they just right playing right. with him too, like Another they five know. From Steve from Machete Squad, Bowser, how does it feel knowing that you screwed up for the rest of your life? He's got to be <laughs> oh, a, villain. Definitely a villain. Oh no, nah, he yeah. breaking. <laughs> this is too good. I can't feel bad for him, bro. He's a whole pedal, bro. I'm cool. Bowser, what's up? What's up, Bowser? Do we need to take a five minute break, Bowser? All right. Why is, why is he crying though? Like my thing is, why are you crying? Like you know you did this, bro. What is the? <laughs> you know you was, and then you openly told everybody about it. Like if you wanted to be a weirdo on the low, at least not say it. Now you getting called out for it, and you go over here crying. Like what? Are you you the one who told him you did this, bro. Like what is he self reported and crying about it? It's crazy. Bro. I don't understand. Self report <laughs> is crazy. Thing? He did. Like, he basically came out, hey, guys, I'm a fucking weirdo. Y'all should be afraid of me. Now everybody asking and talking to him about he crying. <laughs> with three trapped cats in the background. Like, I don't know. What, what's the point of it? 
And then he's still on the like, bro. It's no way I'm about to stay on the computer. I would have cut this joint off. You can't yell at me. I cut the computer off. Like, bro, what's wrong with him? I'm sorry. <laughs> Trying not to cyber bully, bro, but it's so close, man. It's so, no, oh my god. I'm gonna put you in the back for a little bit and let you calm down. Let Kay come in here. Is that all right? All right. We'll see you here in a bit. When he right. finished blowing his nose, he would return to me funny. reading extremely critical donations. Since I had to keep up the facade of being a loyal co-host, I took great pleasure in reading these. And the parade of Bowser haters keep, continued keep when I brought in another hilarious. person who had interacted with Bowser, a man named Zippity, who proceeded to grill Earl so great hard name. that Earl began to pray to God for help. I just want to bring up, he constantly what? says that he was fired from the cinema, not fired, yet he quit from the cinema job, cinema job. Uh, I just went and I was able to found an archive of the Reddit post. He straight up says he was fired. He straight up says his boss yelled at him in anger and that all the females that he was working around, females, I sound like an incel saying that, but that's what he said, were uncomfortable around him and that they didn't like him working there. There's also other Reddit posts where he is constantly the most spiteful, ignorant piece of shit and talking down to anyone who disagrees with him with the most smug attitude. Oh, you guys are just sinners because that's the way he fucking operates. He, this most, this disingenuous, you're trying to give human rights to cartoon shit is fucking the most obvious. If he unplug his headphones, he would not hear anything. In the fucking history of this interaction has ever said that we are what is he doing he bro? Is creepy for looking at depictions of underage girls just leave the room oh, oh, i just remembered bro. my favorite reddit post about uh, that uh, was deleted by the fucking moderators of the post it was dad it and he went i don't remember there was uh the post itself is deleted but a lot of the comments are still there and he from really, the context, he is really his it's own fucking creepy and biggest enemy bro because if he like he could have just been a creep and nobody would have known he really went to Reddit, told his story about being a, 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 a sexual harasser, then went to Discord and said, I, I blatantly like these anime with children in them. He could have just not did. I don't, this is why I never understand these people. Why did you say, why are you, you thought he was going to laugh with you? Like, you thought he was going <laughs> gr- Like, what did he think, bro? I don't understand the Fucking thought creepy. process, And a lot man. of people are asking why his pretend daughter that he doesn't have sees him as a fucking god. He has a pretend daughter. What are you picking up? Like, what is you about most to do? Most insane shit fucking ever. All throughout the show, Bowser is defending his actions, saying he groped his co-worker on accident, saying that the age of cartoon characters didn't matter because they were fictional, while at the same time backtracking everything he had said previously, saying that he didn't watch those characters in an illicit way, and saying that he never told anyone to off themselves. All lies, something that he seems very comfortable with. What he isn't quite so comfortable with is the truth. And when I brought Cal Wrangler back in for round two, Earl would have another negative reaction to being told the (laughs) truth. Back in is crazy. Here really quick. If this was, oh, the cow wrangler is a girl. Bowser, why do you have a history a of preying okay. on women? I don't. Oh, you do, Bowser. In fact, you do. It's actually really well documented. There's a cosplayer. There's the Uh-oh. Reddit that you've been ran out of. Stalking cosplayers. Um, is crazy. and let's not forget that the girl that you groped. So you clearly have a history. He stayed of taking his ass off. You fucking psychopath. Bowser would leave soon after, <laughs> and the very first episode of All One Pin Autism would end. One and in the week leading up to episode over. two, me and Smokey were trying to formulate some kind of a game plan. Being as oh, Bowser we, we have an episode so many two? of us legally, oh we thought it would be hilarious to host a mock court where the chat would be the jury. To be honest, this was the last time we planned on interacting with Bowser. We didn't think there was anything else to be uncovered. So when episode two began, we came right out of the gate asking him every uncomfortable question under the sun. His defense being, it was all in the past and he wants to move on. Why does he keep coming to the internet though? Like, I don't understand if people think they just going to beat the internet at its own game, bro. Like, if if I was him, if I was magically transported into this weirdo's body, 
there's no way I would even pay for internet anymore, bro, for at least a couple years. Cause like, dog, they know who you are. Yo, you are indistinguishable, bro. I, they gonna see that and be like, that's that weirdo. <laughs> so like, or, he should start. I don't know. He should. He should like get a voice changer, get some speech therapy to get rid of that folded ass voice he got, <laughs> and become a VTuber. See, that's what I would do. That is an option. He don't think like that. He's fucking stupid. He gonna keep coming on damn internet, getting called a ped all day like a dumb man. bro. He's so dumb. a lot of all confusion day. for me. I don't understand because people like Bowser this. would talk about a movie theater incident that wasn't even related to when he groped his coworker. It's another it one. Turns out weeks before the podcast had even began, he got two? Bowser had seen a YouTube comment under one of his videos telling him to probably not return to the movie theater he groped his coworker at. Bowser took this as a threat, immediately he jumping go back? in his car and running down to the movie theater, warning everyone that they had to get out of there because it was dangerous. Costing taxpayers thousands of dollars and surely putting him on some kind of watch list. Bro, so they, did he call it a Bob Carter something? Bowser is a racist. When oh, he was wow. fired from the movie theater for groping well, his co-worker, enough. he contacted his old friend from college, Ricky, a black man. Earl was down on himself and he wanted a little bit of support from Ricky, who told Earl that he was too good for that job and he could surely find one much better. Earl proceeded to call Ricky the hard R and after that, their friendship of many years... <laughs> what? He Where didn't he tell him from? something good? <laughs> he said... Bro, right, like, I would be dead <laughs> if, my, if my white friend called me and was like, y'all lost my job. I'm like, man, it's all good. You get another one. He'd be like, die, nah, hardy R. I'm like, what? What? Where, where did that come from? Where did you? Where did that even energy come from? Like, I ain't even say nothing, bro. <sighs> and after learning all of this and letting everyone else have their fun, at that'll the be the last white friend two, I ever had. I told Bowser exactly what I thought about him in what I truly thought was going to be our last encounter. Bowser. I just want I just want you to know I I do not like you. You are a pedophile. You are everything that oh, these people call you. And the fact that they started a that you came to me and wanted to start a podcast with me knowing the kind of shit that I cover is fucking hilarious. And if you think that you're ever going to talk oh, oh. to me again or you're going to get anything out of me, well, you're going to be waiting for quite a few Tawawas on a Monday. We'll hey, yo! I'm never talking to you again. <laughs> this podcast is never getting another episode. Um, What about payment? Yeah, I'm really about payment. Big thing After crazy. the end of the show, I received this message <laughs> Big thing is crazy. And I thought this had all come to an end. Little did I know, it was just the beginning. This is years later. Friend, that we were just scratching the surface of what Bowser had done, and if we could convince him that more? he had been trolled into believing he was a predator, that we could get the podcast back on track, and we could talk about the anime Discord server full of miners that he owned. This whole time, Bowser was the owner of an anime Discord server called Laugh Tale. On the surface, it appeared to be a Discord server for anime and anime music videos. But what it turned out to be was so much darker. The server was full of minors, some being as young as the age of 14. And it turns out that Earl and the other adults on the server were sharing illicit materials with these minors. Oh, nah, the bro. Are stating numerous times that how, how, do, how do the police, like... Is there any legal things that police can do for discords, bro? Because I know it's so many of these discords out there, and I never see nobody go to jail behind them, bro. Never. There's so many pedo discords. I don't understand it. Showed not safe for work content to people under the age of 18. Bowser and his mod team would also take to having the fellow members of the server call them Daddy. <laughs> his username being Daddy Butcher in a server full of children. Being as Earl had committed a crime here and people knew his full name and address, they reported this information to the Did he go to jail? Who swiftly said it wasn't enough. So. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Our cops are garbage. How is this not enough, bro? Y'all can't just like 
abusing for a little bit. Damn, y'all fight everybody else, bro. Y'all can't throw him on the ground or something. Just, just anything. Couple stick hits. Like y'all know he doing it. Bowser to reveal more was priority number one. So I decided oh, he got to back on the podcast. I was trolled into believing that he was a predator. And after being it worked. Don't tell me it worked, numerous bro. times, he agreed to come back to the show. Going back <laughs> on this decision two or three Idiot. times. Idiot! He is a troll. I had to do episode three he is. because of this. And I needed a co-host so I could think of no one better than Smokey. Though Bowser did not appreciate me replacing him with his mortal enemy for one week, he agreed to come back on the podcast for episode four. Why, bro? This is the dumbest Smokey thing ever, bro. to him and tell the whole world that this we This man, bro, Bowser is As an soon idiot, as we bro. start the show, it's very obvious Bowser is suspicious, demanding to know just how Smokey had been trolled. Hi, Smokey. Bowser, bro, I am, like, so... I'm genuinely so sorry for calling you a predator, bro. Okay. I like to hear that. I am, too. I'm sorry for accusing you of having uh, underage kids in your Discord. Okay. Like I was totally wrong on that one, right? There's no one. There's no one under eighteen in there. I if you give him a damn, I'm right. charging yeah. back as a lady. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yo. The irony of this whole episode is lost on Bowser. He thought that we were there to clear his name and say that we were sorry. It Why does he keep showing up, bro? He's an truth. idiot. And after an hour of Bowser smugly thinking that he was in the clear, Smokey let him know just what he thought of him. Bowser, you know, earlier I apologized to you for being a predator, and that was really, that was my mistake for calling you that. I should have never called you a predator. What I should have called you was a predatory groper, uh, a pedophile. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things I could have called you that I could call you. And uh, uh, he's gone. <laughs> he's wow. Gone. He left immediately. It's crazy. Left the show, but he didn't block me, so it gave me hope we'd have a new episode next week. Everyone else believed the same until I received a message directly from the White Bowser. Hello, Kiwi. As of today, I am blocking you on Discord, and the One Ten Autism Podcast is ending. Why is I was that? That's a terrible a name for a podcast. Who had to take a report on how you and the trolls are trying your best to criminalize me? The investigator assured me I did nothing wrong, and that you and the trolls have yeah, no. Yeah, what investigator has no seen Joe ass and was works. like, "Yeah, this is cool." This has officially gone too far. You harassing me is one thing. You harass the state and the law, that's another thing. Now, the police took a statement from me on the whole situation. If you trolls continue to harass the police, they will open a case against you. And Smokey. And you will be prosecuted. Especially Smokey. He has no idea what area he is treading <laughs> Why in. he hates Smokey so Lying much, about bro. accusations that will ruin someone's life and then bothering and harassing the police about it, I'd like to see what YouTube would say about that to Smokey and your YouTube channels. I am not a pedophile. I am not a child predator. And now that the police are involved because of the trolls, this will be the end of our communication forever. The trolls officially ruined it, Kiwi, and the law is involved now. I was told I did nothing wrong. Case open. Case closed. The case will be reopened if the police keep getting harassed, then you and Smokey can kiss your YouTube careers goodbye. So with this, you are blocked, Kiwi. This is the end of our communication. Oh, Bowser was not joking. Right that boy pulled this, up in the suit, everything. Me, not even letting me respond. After this, he would go on a campaign. <laughs> that man pulled up in the suit. Misinformation against he said, Smokey this is real. <laughs> into a much smaller degree myself. This would also be the beginning of Earl making his so-called apology videos. That oh, every shoot. time would have the opposite effect of an apology. Earl might have been busy. Why he got I so many trash you, in the background? looking into him were busy him uncovering off. new things by the day. This is when Smokey and myself had an idea of our own. Anybody with a My Little Pony thing in the back, I, I definitely can't trust you, bro. As the old one, <laughs> so that way we knew I definitely Bowser can't, was free. man. 
and that he can join whenever he was ready to come back. That was the birth of Too High for Stupid, a show that me and Smokey still run every Saturday at 6.30 Eastern Time. And they got and him back on a thing? episode, we had something <laughs> special in the world. Bro, how many Someone times? Someone told Earl that the apology videos he had been making were working, and me and Smokey wanted to watch one with him so that we could prove to the whole community Bowser had changed. I have no Troll, idea bro. why, but he agreed and joined for the very first episode of Too High for Stupid. <laughs> What ensued was another he hour is an and a half idiot, bro. being interrogated. Yeah, Bowser, I just want you to know, like, you saying that you're falsely recording my channel is against TOS as well. You, you're using your audience against me. I'm not That's against me. Damn, that voice no, come no, in wrong no, every no, time, bro. I couldn't listen to that all day. No, that's all fucking day. against all the rules and shit you want to you wanna you're to you're, Smokey, you're violating TOS right Bowser, now. Bowser, you're a predator. You're a predator. Damn. No, hey, I'm let's not. keep this. You're let's keep this civil. No, I'm not. No, Bowser, you're a predator. No, you, I'm not. You admittedly groped that girl. You said you did it. I am not a predator. You're a predator. He did it on purpose. He had to. There's um, no way you stayed there for five seconds. Why did you make this video on Smokey, White Bowser's? Do you do you believe that he's using his audience against you? I do. Yes. Hmm. How? Because you have no control over your audience, and you You're take right. zero accountability. So how he using it against you? Take zero accountability for their actions. Huh. Bowser, I'm not responsible for the people who watch my videos' actions. They yes, you my... are. You 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 cannot enforce a, 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 and you cannot enforce a, 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 cyberbullying, Smokey. I'm you sorry. Bowser, I told everybody. I told you, everybody that, that I don't want nobody to mess with you. Is that good enough? Because what do you want me to do if someone looks at that video and says, "Man, this Bowser guy is a fucking creep," and they just decide, "Hey, I'm gonna write this white Bowser and say something mean to him." That's not I. That like, you can't blame me for that. That's the same way you're trying to blame Cow Wrangler for having to double up on your medicine. That's on you, and that's on them. Yeah, let's get into that. What is the uh? You've been doubling you up. Can't on really your get mad at somebody's no, fan base attacking you for being my, a player, bro. My medication was increased, Jeez. but I've never, I've never been doubling up on it. Smoke, Smokey, you're full of shit. Okay, it's, I'm not full of shit. Yes, you are. Flirting with, hold on, whoa, whoa, flirting with a 15 year old isn't against the law. Did Bowser say, is that Bowser that said that? Yeah, yeah, that's his profile. <laughs> what the fuck? Scooby, oh, oh Scooby Doob is what he, <laughs> Scooby Dooby is what he has as his thing, but it's his last name. <laughs> Bro, what? He's a he's we, crazy, bro. You are full of shit. I, 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 I am not a pedophile. That screenshot I, I am is not, crazy. You're a predator. I, you are. I do not have to deal with your crap. You sick, depraved, degenerate. I, I'm leaving the suit. I'm leaving. I, no, I, 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 we have to I, I, hold up. After Bowser <laughs> left the panel, we would not see him again for a very long time. But that didn't mean others had not only gotten in contact with him, but were digging up new information. A channel called The Black Bowser Girl, had convinced the Earl that they were internet reporters the and that they Bowser, wanted bro. an interview about the bullying he had endured in the last couple months. No, Earl didn't bro, he ask who they were with. Anything. In fact, he didn't ask them anything. He just agreed. And during this interview, he said oh. something horrifying. Uh -oh. I feel this seg this segues uh great into what we'd like to discuss next i'm kind of scared okay, uh, the, the, liquid, the liquid chris stream from the other night where mm -hmm. he made allegations of you like presenting uh cartoon porn to minors actually yeah these are just allegations mm -hmm. um but we we do have to, some questions regarding about to admit it this? Um, okay in this secret server or this alleged secret server i apologize it's, it's not a secret server it's a it's a discord server it's an anime discord server and here's something i want to clear up for the audience in general here i quite clearly cannot be a pedophile if i own a discord server with minors in it who i do not prey upon who I only converse and talk. You, you guys have to understand something. If you're gonna label someone as a pedophile just because they talk to kids in a private Discord server, that's, that's like, like labeling any public school teacher as a pedophile 
in the same way because they're in the classroom with a bunch of kids. You know what I mean? You, you, you can't yeah. make you, you can't make that correlation. Uh, right. uh, uh, all I'm doing is, is talking to these minors about school. Sometimes I play chess with them. Uh, I, we we have a we have we have a chess uh, a, 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 a chess channel on our anime Discord server as well, and we uh, talk about One Piece primarily and Attack on Titan and. Even Chainsaw Man came up lately in the anime Discord server too. So I'm just, and sometimes I talk with these kids about school. So I'm, I'm not doing anything illegal with these kids. What is he I'm about just to talking say, with bro. them. That's what a teacher does in a classroom, basically. So you can't call me a predator. All right, all right. Um, another okay. So basically. Uh, my question was from the beginning. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, were there minors in your server? So and he's about said, to undo said, all yes, of this, were. bro. All right, all right. Uh, um, there are allegations. Um, I'm seeing a lot of that you uh streamed hentai in this server. What's that about? Did you do this? Only once. A server with over. A- <laughs> oh my God. So he said he did all this other stuff. <laughs> he do that all the time, but he only showed him porn once. Yeah, no, nah, I don't believe it. He probably do that all the time. Yeah, nah. He Thousand like members. Not yeah, a crime right. in and of itself, but what was going on there he tried was to a make different it look like story. he was a teacher. See, the Discord on, contained <laughs> many minors, the lowest being confirmed at 14. We know this because every person in the server had a tag displaying their age. As I said previously, Bowser owned this server, running it under the name Daddy Butcher. During this interview, he talked about how him and his team of mods (laughs) would reward these children by showing them illicit materials if they finished their homework. Show them what kind of material? The, the, the illicit material. If they finish. So if you finish. Wow. Okay. Oh no, nah. <laughs> bro! This man needs to be a removed. All them bo- he need to be packed up in all them boxes, like. In- <laughs> like come on, man! Many of these images, either including gore or sex, Earl was heavily involved in these activities, stating on numerous occasions that he sent some of this NSFW content to children. He would also tell us how he caught one of his mods grooming a member of the server. And he did nothing about it. What? The Discord revelations would be damning for Bowser. The almost shameless view of the I whole situation really irked the public. And thing, realizing man. this, he cut off contact with almost everyone. Spending the next couple months Genshin, making no video diaries no and playing Genshin in and Impact, Genshin all like while it. me and Smokey were continuing to put on Too High for Stupid every Saturday, trying to get Earl to return. Getting close, but never quite laggy. there. Until eventually <laughs> we expected he would never be back on the show. But boy, were we wrong. It was the beginning what of May 2023, and Earl's birthday was coming up. Being as everyone knew where he lived, someone decided they would send him a birthday clown to cheer him up. The birthday clown had received specific instructions <laughs> to live stream the whole encounter. The clown was not in on this. He thought that he was hired by a long-distance friend to cheer up a buddy who was depressed. And as the unknowing clown knocks on the door with a huge smile on his face, something completely unexpected happens. Don't tell me he got shot or something, bro. Please, man. Earl's mom tried to strike my... Wait, what? Strike my channel so I had to edit her out. I know. Oh, this is mama. No, no, go ahead and speak. Sorry. He did, he hey, happy birthday. I just want to say happy birthday. What? She just closed and locked, she just closed and locked the door. Earl's mom almost immediately slammed the door in the birthday clown's face and promptly locked it behind her. This is the first it's and only glimpse man. of his mother to date. When Bowser <laughs> was told exactly what had happened from his mother, 
he decided to unblock both me and Smokey to send us the same message. Hey, look, I've come to deliver a message, the same one to Smokey and Kiwi. Why does he Your type people like are that? coming to my house now. He, he, he's people so are strangers professional. With face paint oh, this is last year. Coming to my house what? and harassing my mother. This is no longer funny anymore. It is no longer a prank. Real people are in danger here. I don't think you want blood on your hands. You are internet trolls, clearly. But you don't want people dead, do you? My mother was lucky enough that they only had a cell phone on them this time. Next time, they could have a gun or a knife on them. Next time, my mother might have her life put in danger when they are at my door. This is a warning. I, I can understand being uh, freaked out like house this. Crossroads. If people show up to my door, somebody again, showed up at my door like this, I'll be, be, be kind of freaked out. They'll be well. prosecuted. And if you are found to be in league with them, you will be punished severely. Yeah, I would too. This all but... started with your false accusations. But it wasn't even Smokey or Kiwi Smokey. that sent the now, guy to I his house, no right? Mistakes. I groped a woman. No, I don't accident. think so. I showed hentai to teenagers. Yeah, I know it is messed up. Bro, so this this is all we need to arrest him. Like that part, bro. Like we, why don't that part stand up? Like hold up in court, bro. Why can't we take him to jail after that? Yeah. I don't understand. Like, that's up. crazy. You can call me a degenerate all you want for that, but once my mother's life is in danger, you cross the line. I have never groomed kids and never preyed upon minors. Yeah, I am not no a fucking pedophile. Hint and now that my mother is being harassed by your gang, I am done <laughs> playing around. So if you don't want people to get hurt or worse, this picture is crazy. realize this. This you is don't no like longer his funny. Umbrella it is court no picture. longer some sort of sick <laughs> prank. My life and my mother's profile. life were put in danger yesterday. If you have any sort of conscience, you will end this charade and stop the madness. I know you're an asshole, talk, and my psychiatrist like and I agree charade? that you're a dipshit, yeah, but you do charade. not want people's blood on your hands. I have my <laughs> doubts, but if you are full-blown psychopaths, then I still don't think you want any of this. And I do not want my mother's life or my house put in danger. Now please, for your own sake, come forward, tell the truth, come forward, and stop it's crazy. putting my life and my mother's life in danger. I am blocking you again. This is a warning, and the police will be watching my house very closely and frequently. I doubt it. Again, police blaming size. both of us for the actions of others, and again blocking oh, yeah, so it us was other before we could respond. At this that point, couch falling apart over there in the corner. His personal life. His was whole house is, bro. Internet. He living out of boxes. People knew where he lived. People knew where he ridiculous. worked, and people knew the location of his greatest sins. People were more than happy to tell his church and his job everything that he had done online and in the past. Dang, he they would also tell job. the police who would frequently be called the Earl's house for wellness checks. At this point, Bowser was really feeling the heat, and he'd do almost anything to take some of it off. He closed his bro, Discord internet, server full bro. of grooming and minors. He also makes another terrible apology video where he continues to insult and dox his victims. We were bro. able to convince Bowser that suit. this was another one of those videos <laughs> that had changed the public's mind, and they wanted no to way they the got truth back on from here. him directly. No way he got he back on the podcast. thinking that he was on the right track oh, to being forgiven. Nah, bro. And during the 12th episode of Too High for Stupid, Bowser <laughs> oh my would God. continue to dig his hole deeper. <laughs> I said I wanted to... <laughs> Why does he keep coming back? Yesterday was really stressful. Yesterday was very, very stressful for me. Very stressful. So I just wanted to chill and play chess today. But mm -hmm. uh, but if you just want to solve this within 30 minutes so I can get back to chess, that's fine. What has what your life been like recently? Just describe it to everybody. I've been I've been stressed with the harassment. I have. I I I haven't liked the harassment. No, I haven't. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean I I mean I mean the packages are fine and all, but uh, can we talk about the packages and stuff? For I heard people have been sending you some crazy shit. I like, I guess like uh, I heard people have been sending you ceiling fans. What? <laughs> no, I have, what? I have not got a ceiling fan. Really? I heard, yeah, I've been hearing rumors of people and sending you ceiling fans. I thought that was really, really wrong. No, no, no. No, no, okay, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a few days ago, I got a satanic people... booklet shit kind of thing. What? Yeah. 
Yeah, that makes sense. I don't. Um, why I, is that ceiling fan? That, that, that that server. I don't was know. Also, but I do know, like, there's a group of trolls that just do random stuff to people on the internet. Like, it's one group that, uh, you know, that guy on my on my Twitch that be like, subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. You know, that dude. His trolls send him PayPal messages. I mean, send him pay, PayPal donations and then charge them back. And they tell PayPal that they he never sold them his va- they vacuum parts, as if he has a vacuum. <laughs> oh, what? Like they don't. They and it works. Make up the stu- yes, right. Yes, it does. Cause they make up the stupidest reasons, and then it just be it just it solidified. I, I don't know moderated. Like I, didn't support, no I, I didn't even support. No kidding. I didn't even support half the stuff that the support. teenagers or kids posted in that from? server. Like, I'm, why I'm did you New York? It? I, like it just doesn't make sense. Because it was because like, it was given to me. But the, it's like, why the, would you want the, to be the, associated with that? The the, the original the original owner of the server gave gave the server to me. So to another own, ped gave it to you. I don't. I probably should have declined I see. It. There's a whole lot to explain. I see. Yeah. 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 There was a point on the server where I gave someone a warning for posting anime gore, and I and I, and I took and I took down the post, <laughs> and I'm then sorry. I said and I gave that person a warning, and I said, "Listen, he, here is what we post on the server." I'd be stuttering Boom. too. Uh, etchy, boom, etchy, boom, etchy, boom, anime, etchy. This is what we post on the server. We don't. Are you post full of it was minors though, bro? And, 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 and I, 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 I got really mad etchy. about that because I, I didn't appreciate that being posted on the server. Okay, see, and I understand because like, like you're saying it's the gore that's because I know there were pictures like people had screenshots oh, oh, of people oh, sending oh, like like actual yeah, nudity and all that. So that oh, was oh, like... oh, okay, but but the, but those were just cartoons. <laughs> I, 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 I know and that's a meme now. <laughs> what? One of the teenage, one of the horny teenagers <laughs> in the anime server. It was cool to post naked he, cartoons, I guess. And I was, I was like, so yeah. pissed off when he shared it in the server. Um, he posted uh. AI art generated uh ch- Oh I nah. immediately took it down. Ew. I immediately deleted it and I immediately banned him from the server. And then and then after that I posted that that uh that image right there. But 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 like I was so pissed off when when that person did that in the anime. You have to understand these these were all horny, stupid teenagers. They they they, they were they were why stupid. Was you having they, a whole and they really didn't know what they them. were doing. I could not tell You're you 30. why, but Bowser agreed to return the very next week because he, he was going idiot. to make another apology. So he video. came back this again? Time discussing <laughs> all of the coming back. This is like things. the seventh and or eighth Bowser time. would return next week, but not for anything regarding the Discord he owned. Another massive piece of information had been uncovered. This information more? had Earl so scared he was practically begging to Bro, come on how much show more can we get? Himself. You see, someone had contacted the co-worker that the white Bowser had groped. They were able to find her because Earl had used not only oh! her full legal name, but her sister's full to... legal name throughout his videos dozens of times. Oh, he's an idiot. And after getting in contact with his victim, she would reveal that at the time she was 17 years old. And then Earl he was actually do that shit on accident. Time. And when we told Earl that we are going to reveal all of this information on the next episode of Too High for Stupid, he was more than happy to join us. And what? during episode 13, he continued hey. the pattern of incriminating himself. Get this everyone, um, I was. Bro, I hope he, I hope they lying and she was never coming. Just so he came on here to expose himself and she was never coming. I too, on multiple occasions, if you guys all remember, the twin sister, twin sister. of the sister who we got I, a twin uh, now. She got a twin accidental now. groping that I did on one of the girls. Her twin sister lied to me on multiple occasions about her age. And I can't say for certain if she did this because she was infatuated with me or not. You Ain't nobody infatuated with you, brother. The not a soul. I'm sorry. You guys might me. remember the the um confession video I made. I said that one of the one of my coworkers, the twin sister of the sister who I assaulted, I thought she had a crust on me, but before the accident. Crust? And a crust um, on me, she, not a crust. She, she certainly acted like it. There, there was gossip in the workplace around the time. 
There was a lot of gossip in the workplace on the time. A girl that was 17 and that's had, a why I assumed had a crush on you, brother? But she lied to me on multiple occasions about her age. And it were those lies. It, 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 were, it were those lies that led me to believe that uh, her and her sister were at or above the age of 18. And then you grow and on purpose. It turns out, no, that was, that, that's, that was wrong. And I am now more ashamed than ever to hear the truth come out, a truth I never knew. So, no, it turns out that, I'll, I'll say it, um, no, it turns out I grew up to minor. Well, I think someone from your past is here, Earl. Oh, oh I, she came in! He is. I'm gonna mute. The Wrangler. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Wait, what? I don't oh, the Cow Wrangler. Earl, I'm not gonna lie. I thought gonna this lie. was gonna be the girl. Well, like, no, say your piece, dude. Say your piece. My piece is that, uh, at first... I thought that you were just kind of a piece of shit, but maybe it would... It'd be one of those things where it's only surface level, but it seems like the deeper we go and we look at you, the worse it gets. It's like every time, just as people are about to go and forget about you, something way worse comes out. <laughs> really. He keep going on really. souls. He's doing it to himself. 17. <laughs> he keep I doing it. I have no idea. It, okay, it, why does that... You know, that doesn't even really matter as much as... Five it seconds of touching her and just sitting there like a dumbass. Oh God! Like what? dropping doxes on random people who are involved with the situation, I, I, who I, are just trying I, to live their regular lives. I'm done dropping doxes. Okay, but you did it beforehand, and you're only upset now because you're getting in trouble for it. People are saying, "Hey, that's kind of fucked up. Maybe you shouldn't bring up these random people when you're being looked at as like." Is this a, a girl or a boy? I can't tell. It's a little rough, buddy. It's no. a little rough. No, you're right. It's rough. You really are being very aggressive right now. I don't appreciate that. I don't like pedophiles. That is why. I'm not a pedophile. I've done You are a pedophile. No, I am we not. We've established that you are. You even said that you have pedophilic tendencies. He so, said that? Not, Can I ask you a question? I'm not attracted to kids. Bowser, that other Discord server you had, were any of the other quote-unquote daddies caught talking to the miners or anything? Yeah, and I had to stop them. But they were. Yeah, I had to stop them, yeah. So other, so you said, right, that you're not the only quote-unquote daddy in the server with the miners, but there were other people in there who had the same label as you. Why were called, is that what they the was called, bro? And I had to stop them, yes. But the, the you stop nothing. You, brought up, you said you were rarely in there. Well, there were some times when I had to put a stop to some uh, some of the kids, some of the adults. Why he sell, some of the kids, yes. He's so drunk. Because you made an environment where that felt appropriate. That's why I deleted the server. No, you deleted it because you were caught. Earl, when this started, all I thought <laughs> She'd be you going in on him. Who, uh, he do. I knew you were a guy who groped a girl. Or he do. I don't I know who it is. The jump, I always thought you were a pedophile. And as this has gone on, more and more evidence seemingly by the week has come out to further, like, harden that stance. This is like, like, this is. Yeah, it's not healthy for me. Healthy, healthy is it's crazy. Not healthy for your victims. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to hurt anyone ever again. We, I don't, I don't trust that for a second, bro. I, I don't, don't trust I, that for a goddamn I don't, second. Bro. I don't want to hurt anyone. Well, you, you why you sound by like that, bro? People's names across the internet because I know that the young lady who you did uh, <laughs> assault as a minor is probably very upset that she has to no. relive this whole situation over and over again because you yeah, doxed her full name. That's another thing, Kiwi. Remember, you said that she apologized to you. And those texts that someone got with her, bro, people were... She did not apologize to you. She wants nothing to do with you. She's even thinking about filing a restraining order. You tried to come on here and say everything's water under the bridge. You keep saying it's the movie theater's fault. It's her sister's fault. Cow Wrangler, every time they brought up something, you tried to trail it off onto another topic. You do this all the time, Bowser. And that's why... I, I, I really don't want to be here anymore. I well, Bowser, you don't. maybe you don't want to be here, but the fact of the matter is this, bro. We got donations to read. So you better yeah, sit your ass do. right there. No, <laughs> no we got reading. donations no, to read. Bowser, read. You, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it only took him an hour and a half of interrogation by not only me and Smokey, but Cow Wrangler and Zippy. 
for Earl to realize well, just what was going on. Yeah. Defeated, he left the show Is to go right back done? to his old habit of playing video games and making terrible apology videos. But this right time, on. with a whole different tune. Like, if, if, you, 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 you think, uh... It's alright. I should have left a bit. You think... <laughs> Come on, get it out, King. You think you'll find validation? Like you think you you think you you think you're Jesus some sort of vigilante? You uh, is you this are recent? surrounding yourself with this the was most a year ago negative and Ten the months most ago, sorry. abhorrent of acts. The video we was watching at first, what that was recent, and then you find joy in it. But we didn't know the backstory. All I can feel from this experience about talking about pedophiles all i can feel is disgust all i can feel Why is an absolute in middle, sick bro? taste in my this mouth this is sickening to have him crying like meanwhile this. <laughs> i look at joe schmo over well, here like buddy is he's like horrendous. having the time of his life insulting pedophiles and predators <laughs> me I can't even bear to look the same way. I want to run away. I want to run away from it. You a pe of course you I don't want to talk away. about it. I don't want to spend my time or like, my bro. energy. And why you keep joining the damn calls? Why? Like, bro, he was in every podcast. <laughs> no. I, I don't laugh about it. I don't cry about it. I run away from it. Just, Just talk. You see, do you do you hear me right now? Just talking about all this, just talking about all this stupid shit puts me in sick pain. It makes me so sick. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. Me sick. Talking about this sick shit. You about keep talking about it. <laughs> you are, you keep talking about it. People on there you should know about. Uh oh, what are you about to come out with now? The, the first person you should know about is uh, Huzzah, uh, hashtag 1636. The usernames of Earl's uh, colleagues? The original the guy is crazy. owner of the server. So these the are all the daddies. Who created the yeah, I think so. NSFW um, chat on there. The one who transferred the ownership to me. And uh, He just got their name up snitching, he boy. He was also the one who propagated the the spread of uh, anime NSFW content on the server, or hentai for that matter. Now, I am also guilty of showing he also on So that now server. he's exposing the other pits. And that's where we leave the story today, wow. folks. The white Bowser was uncovered to be what he truly was, a 30-year-old man who showed NSFW content to minors, owned a Discord server where grooming actively happened, and groped his underage co-worker. He may have changed his name to Night from Afar, but oh, he no a matter new guy how far now. he runs, he cannot hide from the truth. He should have just been a VTuber. Like what's Night from what's Afar. Afar. Night from Afar. That's a, that's that's fire. That name's fire. Nah, I'm playing. That name's trash. But, <laughs> Mariby, how did you feel oh, about shit. the, the type of people out. I be recording? Perfect timing. Not you, not you cut the, not you cut the light off. No, I didn't. It just went off. It's, um, it's a, a light that you charge. Um, that was interesting. Cool. Thank you.